Hi, my name is Aftar Gill, and I work for the Inclusive Design Research Center on a project called the Quality Infrastructure. The Quality Infrastructure is being developed as part of the European Commission-funded Prosperity for All project alongside the developer space. The Quality Infrastructure aims to help improve the quality, reliability, and sustainability of assistive technology by providing developers with tools and resources that will make the practice of continuous integration, or CI, accessible to them using minimal effort. The CI features provided by the quality infrastructure help AT developers save a considerable amount of time and effort. They no longer have to try to automate and integrate various technologies such as build tools, application stacks, and maintain entire development environments. Instead, by relying on the quality infrastructure, they can focus on implementing new assistive technologies and get valuable feedback about the stability of their projects. Here is an example of the types of continuous integration features that the quality infrastructure provides. In order to describe a project's CI needs, a simple QI configuration file like this one needs to live alongside a project's source code. The configuration file, among other things, provides an idea of the type of environment that the project needs, for example, Linux or Windows, the software stack that should be installed, which in this case will be Node.js, and then also the commands that need to be automatically run in order to build and test the project. With this file in place, and after installing a few requirements, such as Vagrant and VirtualBox, we can now use a single command to launch a VM. The command we are about to issue will use the QI configuration file to create a Fedora Linux VM and install all of the project's dependencies automatically. Now that the VM has been set up, it can be used by a developer to work on their project using tools installed on the host or they can issue commands to the VM in order to trigger builds or tests. This means they don't need to manually interact with the VM in a cumbersome way. For example, we'll issue a command from the host which will automatically launch Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome in the VM in order to run browser tests. The output of the tests will be displayed in the host terminal window, allowing a developer to easily monitor this process and receive valuable feedback. We can now see that all tests for this project pass. This same process could have also run seamlessly in a CI environment hosted in a data center. When changes are pushed to a project source code repository, the QI can automatically create these types of environments, run tests, and report results to developers. The CI features provided by the quality infrastructure help AT developers save a considerable amount of time and effort. They no longer have to try to automate and integrate various technologies such as build tools, application stacks, and maintain entire development environments. By relying on the quality infrastructure, they can focus on implementing new assistive technologies and get valuable feedback about the stability of their projects. The quality infrastructure will help provide information that can be used to judge the health of a project. This information, or quality metrics, will be collected from sources such as GitHub and continuous integration servers. It will then be displayed in user-friendly ways to help developers evaluate components hosted in the developer space. Some of the quality metrics that the QI aims to collect and depict are the number of contributors and commits for a project, illustrating how active it is, health scores provided by CI servers that are executing project builds and tests, and results from accessibility evaluation tools providing an idea of how compliant a project's code or markup is with guidelines and specifications. The QI currently collects a few of these metrics. Here we see a dashboard prototype showing the number of commits and contributors for a project. The project's timeline can be inspected with a user interface that provides accessible graphs generated dynamically using metrics collected from the project's GitHub repository. 
Providing developers with quality metrics can help them make informed decisions about working with projects hosted in the developer space. They can make sure they're introducing stable and well-supported dependencies into their projects, which in turn will help reduce the maintenance effort and lower assistive technologies development costs.